Who are you? Who do you work for? And what do you do? Senior concept artist at Naughty Dog. Started there in May. So. And what's your name? Chatty Safari. <laughs> There about eight nine months. Um, just got into the pipeline and it's uh, it's good. It's good so far. Um, we're working on a um, untitled, unannounced. It's going to be announced in one week. I think a Game Informer uh, project. Um, it's basically an action adventure game set in the jungle um, that you can see in the pre trailer last year. And uh, that's about all I'm allowed to say. It's uh, it's, it's looking amazing though. I think it's the like, graphics are looking just incredible. The technology is great. So I'm excited about it. What are you looking for as far as in portfolios when you're looking at a recent grant? You've got to really specialize in one thing because the person who does specialize in that one thing is going to get the job doing that one thing. The jobs are very specialized and that again shows a not readiness to, I think, have a job yet. It shows that I really haven't decided what I love. Uh, that decision needs to be based 100% on what you love. If you are really a concept guy at heart but you think that modeling is going to be an easier job to get, it's not really true because you don't love modeling. So I, the guys I work with, they know about you know fraction layers on subdermal and epidermal layers of skin. That's how much they love their craft. If you're not a lover of it, you're not competing with them and, and, you're, and you're screwed. So you might as well, yeah, I mean the concept is the least populated job at a company that's probably one of you know us for every you know, 25 of another guy um, for a regular modeler. But, uh, but still, if that's the thing that you want to do, then you really need to focus on that. One other thing I'd say too is that there's a tendency to, to, to put other artists in this kind of godlike status. I don't think anybody's that good. You, if you look at everyone's portfolio and you think these guys are gods, then uh, you need to work a little harder because nobody's godlike. These guys just draw and paint for the shop. I mean, whoop you do. You can do it too. You get the Noman videos, which if you don't know about those, are an awesome resource. And you can break down how they work and then you can rip off their style. And that's all they've done. None of these guys have been at the wheel. Painting's been going on for a long time. Drawing's been going on for a long time. So I really recommend people, this is a huge thing, is to stop trying to like figure everything out yourself. See how people work. Not only look at people you admire and just try to copy them, but actually figure out how they work if you can. Build a relationship with them, know what tools they use. I mean, when I learned about the hard light brush in Photoshop, that changed a lot of the things that I, I, I didn't know about. I mean, there's a couple tools in Photoshop that I didn't even know existed, but I saw other artists having this cool effect. I literally stole it from them. I use a brush set that's not even mine. I stole it from another concert artist. Um, and it's been awesome. And I made huge leaps without having spending the time to like build myself up from scratch. So I really recommend ripping off other people's style uh, and trying to make it your own. You're gonna make it your own inherently because you're doing it. So it's gonna be impossible for you to copy it 100%. Um, but I think that'll make it a lot easier to like move ahead and take giant steps instead of making a little time, taking your time the whole way. So what position, uh, positions um, are you hiring for right now, do you know? Um, we're only hiring for programming right now. Okay. Um, and the programmers, I, gotta, I just gotta give props out, shout out to programmers. Those guys really are the cornerstone of the visual side of games. Those guys are the ones who make it possible. The technology they, they do is such a huge part of it. So um, it's important to just like respect the entire I think, process and realize that you're the beginning. Concept, I love concept. I think it's the best job. You, uh, first of all, you're never under deadlines. Not really, because you are at the beginning of the, of the cycle of the air. And, um, and you just get to come up with ideas. You don't have to do any of the actual work of building anything or creating anything. Um, so if you're an idea person and you like to engage people and you like to talk to people because there's a lot of iteration that goes on and you're really interested in getting involved personally with the modelers, with game designers, just really getting in the mix and you have that kind of personality for it, I think it's a great, great job. Um, and it's, I think it's the most, one of the most rewarding.